Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video in which uh, we learn how to generate or rather how to make Ionic CLI generate resources for your project and by resources I am referring to the app icon and the splash screen and splash screen is the screen that comes uh, first when your app is loading or that's what the users see for the first time uh, when your app is loading and again when you restart your app they're going to see the splash screen it's the first thing that they see okay so let's get started I was looking at some of the Android patterns for the splash screen but uh, I decide uh, I, I decided to go with something very simple and actually uh, this is the application icon that I designed uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, use illustrator to design an icon so let's do that um, so there are many uh, specifications for ionic resources like the image width the image height and all the formats that are acceptable you can read more about that online on the ionic resources page that's in the ionic 1 website i didn't find that in the ionic 2 website yet but uh, i've verified that all of those uh, things still hold so um so let's get started I'm going to create something very simple so uh, I don't know let's um, let's create a circle within this hexagon just for fun I know this is a terrible icon but this is just to uh, show you how to work around these things so I'm going to save this but the important thing is where you are saving this because you want to save this in the resources folder of your working directory so this is my working directory and I have this resources folder and inside of resources folder you want to save this icon.ai which is the illustrator file in case you are uh, using illustrator if you are using photoshop or any rasterized software then you would uh, want to check the specifications for uh, specific width and height that's allowed I believe that's 192 pixels by 192 pixels but make sure you check that out and I'm going to save this it's going to ask if I want to replace it yes um, I'm just click OK and um, yeah so illustrator's job has been done and as for the splash screen I actually already generated the PSD I mean I created the PSD and it's now saved in the resources folder just like the icon so now we have the splash.psd and I have my icon.ai file which is saved under the resources folder now what we want to do is go to the root directory and type in ionic resources um, Android because I like to target the specific platform that I am generating resources for and then I want to first generate the resources for icon and let's see uh, if there's any error uh, one thing I didn't know about uh, ionic generator or resource generator was that it's going to use your internet connection to actually send or upload these uh, images in their resizing server as they call call it in their documentation so i thought this was uh, within the framework itself which is saved locally but i was wrong it requires your internet connection so if you are having any internet connection problem uh, this is not going to work um so yeah so uh, and the reason that I first generated icon is that um, just bear with me one second and the, and the reason that I am first uh, generating icon is that 
some uh, few times like I noticed this thing uh, when I'm generating icon and splash screen together there were some errors so I like to first generate my icon resources as you can see it generated that and obviously we can verify if you just go to Android within your resources folder and you will notice that it generated all the variations of the icons for Android platform so now we can do the same thing for um, the splash screen so if you just say ionic resources Android and dash dash splash it should generate the resources for our splash screen and you will notice how I created the splash screen very quickly using Photoshop and again it's going to upload these uh, upload this specific PSD and then uh, using the resizing API or whatever it is it's going to generate multiple variations of a single image so let's see if this is going to work okay it's, it's starting to generate now it says generated uh, we can verify if you go to your splash screen folder you will find oops that's not uh, okay so I know what's what's happening here basically uh, it also has some of the old files so uh, I this was my first splash screen so what you want to do is uh, before you are generating just make sure that this folder is empty you can definitely just uh, delete all the previous files and then you can run this command so it can generate the new resources and this is uh, my new splash screen uh, and the reason this text is little bit above is that uh, ionic tool by default it provides you a loading icon which is kind of like a circular icon which means that your app is loading so the position for that default icon is in the center in the exact center so that's why I position the text little bit above the center um, anyway so that's how we make resources uh, you can use illustrator and Photoshop and then you uh, just save your PSD or AI file in the resources folder and you run a simple CLI command that is ionic resources targeting your uh, specific platform in my case Android and then you specify whether you want to generate icon assets or uh, splash screen assets and if you don't specify for example uh, if I didn't mention dash dash splash or dash dash icon it would generate all the resources so it would generate resources for both my icon and splash screen maybe you can try that and always make sure that you verify that within your platform folder for example uh, within my Android flow folder and then icon subfolder and splash subfolder I have my corresponding files for every variations and screen sizes and uh, also make sure that your inter internet connection is working properly because if it's not Ionic uh, 2 cannot upload the files to the server for resizing and um, always make sure that for example if you are running uh, your APK file in your device in your actual device always make sure that you delete the previous data or make sure that you uninstall the previous version of your app and then just install the fresh version and you should observe the new splash screen uh, in case you are uh, having some problems with the splash screen for instance you can definitely go to the plugins page for ionic splash screen plugin and I say this because sometimes it just so happens that the issue is uh, low level so it's not relating to the ionic framework but maybe it can relate to the actual plugin that's the underlying plugin that's ionic using so this is what it is and uh, if there's any problem that's relating to this or the lower level Cordova plugin you can just uh, post the issue here and I'm sure someone from community will uh, reply so um, that's it so thanks for watching this video